And so many times we say, well, it's the devil. or, But you know what? The Bible talks about that it's sin. S sin in your flesh on purpose strategizes and wars against the purpose of God in your life. Amen? I have two boys and a girl, and I, and I see the hand of God in their life. They are amazing children. They're truly good, lovely kids. And, and when they grew up, in, when they grew in my, my womb, the Lord spoke to my husband and I and through other prophetic ministers what the destiny on their life was, what God had spoken about them before the foundation of the world. He did that about you, you know. He already has a plan all laid out. And you know, then when they were born, and we could see the personality matching the call of God on their lives. Amen? We see they're so very different, but their personality completely matches what God has said about them. But then we see the strategy as well of, of the flesh that wars against that. And the areas that we've discovered in our children's life that we help them with, amen, in every possible way, to work out of them and to work righteousness into them. Those areas are exactly opposite to what God has said about them. Amen. If we would let them live that out and, and those, those sins would grow into strongholds in their life, those patterns would grow into strongholds in their life, it would annihilate completely what God wants to do in their life. Amen. There's areas in your life that are on purpose against the plan of God for you. And you may say, well, it's just a little sin here and there or nobody knows about it or I'll get free from it one day. But you know what? I want you to live on purpose. I want you to live on purpose. God wants you to live on purpose in His plan. Everything He has done for you, everything He has said about you is on purpose. And it says in Galatians 5 or 17, for the desires of the flesh are opposed to the Holy Spirit. And the desires of the Spirit are opposed to the flesh. For these are antagonistic to each other continually withstanding and in conflict with each other so that you are not free but you are prevented from doing what you desire to do but if you are guided and led by the Holy Spirit you are not subject to the law man the Holy Spirit is working so hard in you to set you free so you're not subject to these strongholds in your life Pastor Tracy and I, we've traveled all over the world and we see this, that strategy. We see the call of God on a person's life. And then when they come up for prayer, it's always a stronghold that exactly opposes that what God has said. When they're supposed to be moving freely in the gifts of the Spirit, often their stronghold is alcoholism. Amen. They're drunk with wine instead of drunk with the Holy Ghost. When they're supposed to be public speakers in front of crowds and multitudes, what is their problem? It's fear in their flesh to stand up and speak. Amen. If they're, they're people of God who are supposed to teach the great oracles of God, their stronghold is, is gossip and strife. Amen. If they're supposed to be a leader that people respect and look up to, their stronghold often is anger. Amen. And they break trust. And so today the Holy Spirit is here to completely deliver you. If you will say, yes, Lord, I'm going to live on purpose in my destiny. I will resist the enemy and he will flee from me. On purpose, I will resist the sins of the flesh. And the flesh will have to be subdued by the power of the Holy Ghost in you. Amen? It's not a, it's not a fair fight. The Holy Spirit is so much more powerful. Amen? So today, let's lift up our hands. Father, we live on purpose for you today. Starting over. I've been asked about starting over. I would say that um, my my being here in the Pacific Northwest is a starting over for here. me. I only knew one person, um, and then after that, I, I actually spent nine months where I was totally homeless. So I had to really learn to live by faith. I can say during that time. I never was hungry, I ate every day. I even gained weight. Um, and my mom was always concerned and worried about me. And when she saw me the first time I went back to visit, she stopped being concerned somewhat. Moms never stop. But um, what, what has happened with me, how it has started over, is that I've, I'm totally free, I'm, I'm, nothing worries me. If things are going chaotic or not working out, 
I always know that God has a plan and, and to just trust Him totally and completely, let it go, and He will lead me. As soon as I start taking the reins and t trying to move things over, then that's when they will go array even further. So um, my testimony is that you, you can trust God, you can be free if you trust God, and when you trust God, he will always cover your back and he will move you forward and take you into new, bigger, and greater things. My life here in the Northwest has been a totally different walk than, than the one I've had until that point. And I've had an opportunity to do many things in, even for him in the spiritual realm. And now here, I'm here at the Citadel where there, this church is a church that has great vision and great outreach and big plans. She couldn't hear and now she can hear. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I'm healed. Glory! How long did you Matt, have this here. in your ear? How's your back doing? Uh, about a year. Come on, up here. Yeah. yeah. And suddenly while you back. were down, it just popped open? I just come here. I want to hear. I heard something about here, this church, to hear some people. So I said, uh, my friend said, you want to go? I said, sure, I want to go. Hear my ear, you know? Yes. So I believe and I hear. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. She believed and now she hears. <laughs> now you can hear. Now you can hear. I praise Woo. God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Since I was in junior high, I uh, junior high or, no, it was, it was high school. And I started to get growths in my breasts. And um, some know, but not a lot of people know, but I endured a lot of pain. And there was nights that I just could have been crying because I was in so much pain. And uh, this is day in and day out. And last time that he came, he had prayed for me. And later on that night when we all got together, I had to leave early because I had to be at work really early. But I remember him saying to the crowd, that woman that left, God is telling me, or something like that, that her healing will come, but she needs to keep pressing in. Come on. Because I kept believing, and I pressed in, and I am here to testify that I have no growth in my <laughs> Thank you. God loves the Northwest, and now it's time for the Northwest to show God how much we love Him. God's ready to pour out His Spirit right here in the Northwest. We're going to begin uh, fire crusades all throughout this region, throughout the Northwest region. We're going to go as far north as, as we feel led and as far south as we feel led. We're going to try to connect with churches in those regions that we go. These gatherings are specifically for believers to come together in unity, churches to come together in unity where we seek the face of God. God still works miracles. God still heals. God still delivers. God still speaks prophetically to his people. And we want to be right in the midst of whatever God God is doing. This is the time. There's something happening. Don't hesitate. Check us out. Check out the, the dates and the places we will be at www.tracyarmstrong.com. That's T-R-A-C-E-Y Armstrong.com. Or you can call us at 206-722-5757. Be a part of these crusades. Come, participate, be ready for God's going to show up. Hey, how you doing? My name is Pastor Matt. I'm the youth pastor out of Revival Church. Hey, we just want to invite everybody. We're throwing a special event called Insomnia. We're having sharp skills perform. We're raffling off prizes, games, food, raffling off an iPod. Hey, come check us out April 26th at 7 o'clock. Thank you.